gosh. Shit. Damn it. Okay. Hey. Okay. <laughs> hey, Leo, I'm about to do your shadow work reading, right? So we're going to look at the darkness that's been affecting you that you've been trying to avoid or you have been successfully avoiding. But the purpose is to look at the shadow and get control of the darkness or balance it out with the light so that it doesn't take over pretty much. So the purpose of this reading is to shed light, I mean to shine light on the darkness in you in the hopes that it will help you to control it. And so it won't control you. Did I just repeat myself? Did I just say the same thing twice? Okay. So I'm going to pull seven cards from this deck. Just see what y'all got going on at the time of whenever you see this. This is Tomlin's reading for a group of Leos. Um, what I say? Five of Swords is representing the darkness you are avoiding. Actually, this did come out like this, right? Okay, leave it like that then, okay? And the Nine of Pentacles, Five of Wands, Queen of Cups. Okay, so the darkness you've been avoiding is related to some sort of like mind games or like maybe talking yourself out of things and it could be related to love. Like if it's not related to love, it's related to something you love to do. Maybe talking yourself out of reasons not to do it. Why is the five of swords here? Five of pentacles. So maybe feeling like if you do something that you love to do, it won't, it won't be successful. That's what I'm getting. But the five of swords and the five of pentacles is like, isn't you convince yourself that it's not realistic. Is not a realistic or attainable goal. Something that you love to do. Or you would love to do. Um, it's, in, it's been affecting you in a way of like the queen of, of cups. Like I feel like you're being too hard on yourself. The queen of cups puts everybody's emotions before her own. So you might be worried about how everybody else might feel about what you want to do. As opposed to how it will make you feel. Which is emotionally fulfilled I, I think. So, I feel like it's affecting others in this three of wands type of way. Oh, so it's helping other people. Like, I don't know if you told other another person or other people about this thing that you want to do. But they might, like, take your creative ideas or, like, try to connect themselves to what the fuck you're working on or trying to do. If not, they could just outright take your ideas or try to. And make try to make it work for them since you're not doing it or since you open up and told them about something that you wanted to do hopefully i'm making sense like it helps it helps somebody else because they like piggyback or steal your ideas i don't feel like i need to clarify that okay yeah you're welcome so um you got the Ace of Cups here. <sighs> you will be so fulfilled. Like, you will be so... You will feel so full if you allow yourself to just let things flow when it comes to this thing that you want to do. It's, I know it's a creative idea. So it could be related to a craft or just some sort of idea that you had. It's saying that this could help you. The way that this could help you is being represented by the Ace of Cups. So, first of all, whatever it is, was a gift from a higher power. I would say the creator, but you might say angels, God, I don't know. But either way, it was a spiritual gift 
the idea of it or the talent or something was being offered to you. That's why you feel like the Queen of Cups in reverse when you're not acting on it. Because something in your spirit knows is something you're supposed to do. Like it's not unrealistic. And I feel like you convince yourself that it is. Maybe because somebody else told you. Or maybe because it. It's not. Fulfilling you right now. Like it's not. You're not getting the results that you want right now. With the five of pentacles. But then you got the. um, The nine of pentacles. I'm going to clarify why this is here. It makes me feel like it could be successful, right? The Wheel of Fortune. So we got at the bottom of this deck, the Emperor. So that's the card of entrepreneurship. How you say that shit? Being an entrepreneur, right? <laughs> Nine of Pentacles is about um, self-sufficiency, discipline. So it's pretty much saying if you're if you're disciplined and dedicated, you could turn this. Five of Pentacles energy you're feeling into this Nine of Pentacles, but it is going to take time because the Wheel of Fortune is about time, like seasons changing. So it's something you're going to have to show discipline and dedication with. With the Five of Wands, it's telling you you have to get more organized. And you have to like, it's a lot of shit that you have pulling you're being pulled in a lot of different directions i don't know if you're being pulled in different directions by different people or just like by yourself internal conflict like having a lot of things that you want to do therefore not being able to stick to one thing or either negative like self-talk something that you need to straighten out like it's things you need to get rid of in order to get in alignment with this thing you want to make happen you got the page of water being your last card out i feel like you you need to do this from a place of like lighthearted lightheartedness and just knowing that you're doing it because you can because you enjoy it because like it makes your heart feel good to do it why does the page of water here like don't take the results so seriously because just do it out of knowing that that's what you're meant to do. Like, when I started my channel, like, a couple years ago, I started with the Good Rising Tarot. And my whole purpose in doing it was fucking because I was told to. <laughs> like, I had a dream to name it Good Rising Tarot. Just kept doing it, keep doing it. The shit goes up and down. But, I mean, as far as YouTube is concerned... But I never would have thought when I started that I would have personal clients or a website or like any of that. Like you never think that at first, but it's telling you like you got to keep going, got to keep trying when it comes to something because it can be successful if you stay disciplined and dedicated. But I was about to pull another card. Um, you got the two of wands here. So the song has just started playing in my head. That's why I took a pause. But it's dedication, hard work, plus patience. The sum of all my sacrifice, I'm done waiting, pretty much. That's from Nipsey Hussle, who happens to be a Leo. Okay, but I feel like that's what this reading is about anyway. Like, that's crazy. It really started playing in my head. I ain't heard that song in months. So I feel like that's part of the message for whoever that's for. Maybe listen to the song. I don't know. But either way, with the two of wands and the um, page of cups, it's saying you can balance this darkness out by even when you feel, even when you don't feel like it's going anywhere, do it anyway, but from a place of lightheartedness and a place of dedication. Hold on, let me see what the Oracle cards have to say. 
these cards blow my mind like really so far like what the f it says forge don't follow be a leader not a follower of course when you're a leader people hop on that bandwagon eventually so when you're starting out you can't really think about <laughs> who likes it because you're doing something that people don't do or you're doing it in a way that people don't do and even if you're doing something that people are doing they don't have what you have like they're not adding to it what you're adding to it so okay it says pave a new path be the leader you wish you had with that emperor being there entrepreneur spirit if you wait into the path that's perfectly paved you won't be foraging your own path wow and you'll likely not even take the first step don't let a small detail like being unable to find someone to show you the way be the reason you don't step forward and lead wow let it be the reason that you do the most courageous and needed leaders are the ones who don't wait for permission or until the morning they wake up feeling ready i say do it even if you don't feel ready they take a deep breath put one foot in front of the other and figure out as figure it out as they go they don't wait for someone to lead them they lead themselves this is a card for leaders you're a leader leo or you're supposed to be you're here to pay the path that hasn't been walked before to go first and lead the way for others who are calling you in if you feel misrepresented in the media step forward for all those who also feel misrepresented if no one's speaking out on the topic you feel passionate about share you share your unique voice there's no one on earth who comes close to possessing your unique combination of skills gifts and life experience don't look to those who have come before you to work out your path leaders must forge their own do it for your daughter wow okay do it for your daughter do it for the younger you do it for the leaders who follow no do it for the leaders who will follow when you go first you make it easier for others to follow your lead forge don't follow and it says how are you being called to forge rather than to follow how can you be the leader you wish you had okay leo i told y'all spirit don't be playing like those oracle, those oracle cards when they come out and match the reading perfectly that shit never ceases to amaze me but i hope y'all enjoyed thanks for watching peace